The Gallifrey GR-75 medium transport is a small vessel used almost exclusively by the Rebel Alliance, to the point the design is often referred to simply as the Rebel Transport. With mediocre speed, minimal armor, and minimal weaponry, the GR-75 is almost exclusively used to ferry cargo and personnel from place to place. Typically the vessel is unarmed, though many rebel cells find ways to attach small armaments to offer minimal resistance to imperial and pirate opposition. While the transport does possess a shield generator, it is not capable of withstanding much beyond a few strikes from a standard starfighter's laser cannons before being drained. Its crew consists of up to six organics, but can be reduced through the assistance of droids, making it a low-intensity vessel for the Alliance to operate. A top acceleration of 20 MGLT means the craft is roughly a fifth as fast as an X-Wing, and a third so as an Imperial-class Star Destroyer. Its hold allows for a relatively impressive 19,000 tons of cargo to be held within its shell, and depending on certain modifications can hold up to 90 passengers. The design is so simple that in fact most of the hull is just the simple shell that surrounds a pocket of space in which cargo is magnetically suspended. This makes the GR-75 paradoxically highly durable and extremely vulnerable, due to the fact that the bulk of the vessel's shell has no vital components beneath it, so a hit that breaches its armor will only hit the inert cargo within at worst, while a glancing hit to its engines, fuel lines, or command module will most certainly doom the vessel. Most GR-75s can be seen missing large sections of paneling from their hulls, either left off to ease maintenance or simply disregarded due to the irrelevance of such thin plating on such a craft. While the GR-75 seems to be exclusively a transport, it is still commonly seen participating in battles between the Rebel Alliance and the Empire. The small crew and cheap cost of the ship make it ideal for the purposes of target saturation, as well as acting as a fire ship. Target saturation referring to literally filling space with targets in the hopes that the enemy crosshairs will more often land on less vital craft, buying time for the important ships to complete their missions. The role of fire ship refers to loading a vessel with explosive ordnance and flying it near or directly into enemy ships in order to destroy them or damage them in the resulting detonation. Most fire ships are presumably set to follow pre-programmed courses or utilize droid guidance to find their targets but it is not uncommon for rebel personnel to go down with their ships in this manner. Well, that's it for the GR-75, a ship you do not want to be assigned to. Hope you guys found this informative. I've been Ian. I'll catch you next time.